Good morning. It's Friday, but Sunday's coming. I trust that you're all set for it. And uh, I just want to let you know that uh, uh, we are, are taking all the concerns and, and everything very uh, seriously as we come back to church. And, and I, I know that there's probably a lot of uh, apprehensions with, with some people and and whether it's safe or not. And uh, you remember, it's just when the, the coronavirus first came out and all the stores closed and uh, they started making all the lineups for a Canadian Tire or a Walmart and, and all these places that we would visit. And, and we had our apprehensions and we went and stood in a line and we went through. And uh, as we, we come towards the church, you know, it, it, it's not that we're, we're putting everything aside and saying, hey, Jesus will look after everything. We're taking every every part of this service uh, very seriously, and we want to make sure that it's a, a wonderful time for people to return to church. Uh, we are, are putting all the precautions in place. Uh, we will have masks. We have hand sanitizer. We have gloves. Uh, we are going to have a wonderful couple, Monty and Patricia, who will be greeting you at the uh, the front door as you come in and give you some of the guidelines as to adhere to when you come into church. Uh, we will probably have a, a downsized service, uh, you know, because we le need to learn how to crawl before we can walk. And we're, it's like a brand new church plant or a startup. Uh, we're starting church. Can you remember uh, when you... Uh, first were desirous to give your heart to Jesus and, and you weren't sure about going to church and, and what would people think about you or what would people think about you coming to an altar and giving your heart to Jesus and, and all those things that you battled with that uh, uh, you had to go through to uh, uh, really secure your, your life in Jesus and give your whole being over to him. Uh, all those apprehensions uh, were, were the same as really what they are now. People are, are having apprehensions. Should we go back to church? Should we wait a few weeks or, or whatever? You know, it's going to be the same in a couple of weeks. Uh, we are the same thing right now. I would say that, uh, uh, you know, uh, we, we are cleaning the church and it's going to be cleaned uh, weekly on a basis. And we want to make sure that it's a, a conducive environment to be able to allow us to come in and worship God. Uh, we are going to do everything uh, simply at first and, and uh, walk uh, after a while after being crawling, but uh, we're going to take everything step by step as we go through all the procedures. But you know, I just want to have church. I want to make sure it's safe. In the physical, I'm trying to look after everything else. Everything in the spiritual realm, Holy Spirit, you look after it. Uh, people get saved, they're going to get saved. People get healed, they're going to be healed. If people are going to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, they're going to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. And I'm allowing Holy Spirit. I don't want to grieve or quench Him in any way. Uh, we need to do our part as uh, to uh, resolve our, our life with the government regulations. And we want to do uh, our part as well in the spiritual sense. Uh, in the book of Acts, they look for people to look after the tables, wait on tables. That was the physical part. But they wanted people who were filled with the Holy Spirit to be able to lead them so they could direct their time, the leaders of the church, to the Word of God. So we're praying that this Sunday the Word of God would come front and center and uh, put to rest all our inhibitions. You know, I invite you, uh, pray over it. We invite you to church. We want you to be there. And uh, we want you to feel safe. But we want you to feel the Spirit of God. And that's what it's all about. So I invite you to church on Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Please come. Uh, we will do, be doing all the guidelines and helping in any way to make you feel safe and secure and put to rest any of your uh, uh, desires that you feel that we need to look after to make it a, 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 you know, a place where you can come and just feel at home back again in church. So let's pray. Father, we pray for this Sunday uh, that you would just direct all the affairs of your people. Lord, put to rest all the uh, fears and the inhibitions and the unrest that may be in the hearts of people. Holy Spirit, we're just uh, looking forward to your moving upon us this Sunday. And uh, we pray that we would just have a great time in you, Lord, as we focus our attention upon you. Not on what's going on in the world, not on the virus but we focus our attention upon you, Jesus, and we want you to be high and lifted up and that your train would fill the temple. So God, we pray, call your people home, call them into the house of God, call them into the place of worship so we can come and just worship you and love on you, Lord, because you're worth it. We give you all the glory and the honor and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. It's Friday, but Sunday's coming. Amen.